Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be reading Swan, The Life and Dance of Anna Pavlova by Laurel Snyder. The city is big, Anna is small, the snow is everywhere and all around. But one night, Anna's sleigh slips up the street, her face is cold, the world is dark. Mama smiles. Then, ah, the lights, the lights, something is happening. There's a swell of strings, a scurry of skirts. A hiss and hum, and whoosh, it's all beginning. The story unfolds as Sleeping Beauty opens her eyes. And so does Anna. Her feet wake up, her skin prickles. There is a song. Suddenly inside her. Now Anna cannot sleep or sit still ever. She can only sway, dip and spin. Now Mama hums into her soup. Now the snow skitters just so at the window. Now the squirrels stop to watch. At last, Mama nods, and out of the house, Anna goes into the world of people, tall people, and oh, oh. Two years drag, each sliding slow. Anna stretches beside her time. Shirt, shirt, laundry. Shirt, shirt, laundry. Even the squirrels lose interest. But this time, oh, oh yes! The work begins, the work, the work. Up and down and back and turn and on and on and to and fro. And third position again, again, again. Until one night she takes the stage. Anna becomes a glimmer a grace. Everyone feels it. The lamps shine brighter. The room holds its breath. It shouldn't be that she should be this good. Her legs too thin, her feet all wrong. Oh, ooh, those toes. She's only a girl, so small, so frail. But see her face, her flutter. Anna was born for this. For five bright years, the dancers swirl around Anna, the curtains rise and fall. Finally, she steps onto the stage alone and sprouts wing, white wings. A swan, she leaves and she weaves her, the notes, the very air, into a story all those sitting see. They stare, Anna is a bird in flight, a whim of wind and water, quiet feathers in a big loud world. Anna is the swan. Across the globe she sails. There are furs and riches, kings and queens, pearls to be worn, toasts to be drunk. But it is not enough. Anna remembers a small cold room, a lonely girl at the window. Shirt, shirt, laundry, shirt, shirt, laundry. Somewhere there are people who haven't heard the music. Anna sails on forests and plains, sprawling cities and tiny towns. The world is a hungry place, and Anna will feed it beauty. Across bowling and the warp boards of dance halls, she moves everyone, the sick and the poor, come to meet her boats and trains. They cheer her 
and not cheered. Anna walks in the rain, sleeps on the floor. She is a queen, a ghost, a bit of snow, a dragonfly, and again and again, and best of all, the swan. When people throw flowers, Anna tosses them back. It's enough just to dance. Of course, always the tour ends, the boat docks, the train returns to the station. And there are pets and people, meals and meetings, hearth and home, but not the home Anna remembers. Home is gone, Anna won't return to the snowy city. There's been war there, a war and everything is strange, sleighs no longer jingle through the streets of petrol. Anna builds a new life, a different fairy tale. Until a chill finds Anna, hunts her down alone, without her boots and mittens, a wind, a cough beside, stopped rain, a rattle she can't shake. Anna tries to waltz away, to spin and sway, she'll turn and turn and turn from this, she thinks. If she can just keep dancing, she calls for her feathers, but... Every day must end in night, every bird must fold its wings, every feather falls at last and settles. Oh, thinks Anna, if only every dance could end in such sweet applause. The end. Bye!